it'll get there. Like, you know, like one of the coolest parts about Evo was we got to like really sit down and talk to a lot of the dev team, and they're all just really great people, like really cool, and they get they they love the game, the IP, they like love the the characters. Like even when we're just like drinking and like vibing at the after party, like you know they're like sitting there like, so what do you think about this? What do you think about what do you, what kind of character would you like to see? What do you think would work for it? Like they were just they're always on the job even when they weren't. That's all they think about. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? It's Lost Crap. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with Chavo, who is known to be one of the most popular Finn players out there right now. Um, if you didn't know, he's been participating in Multiverses Mayhem for quite a while now. Multiverse of Mayhem is basically a local tournament that is hosted by, I believe, Ajax and a few other people. I'll put them up on the screen. I'm sorry, that's like the main name I know is Ajax, who hosts it. He like commentates it and stuff. But uh, yeah, Chavo uh, placed top three in these tournaments consecutively and uh, all pretty much using Finn and a few other secondaries, but mostly Finn. And so I really wanted to play some games against him, see what I could learn from him, as well as just kind of show you guys what his gameplay looks like, you know, online and stuff like that. And it'd be really interesting to just see overall how the match goes. Now, um, this is recorded before Dare loop got removed, but I don't think either of us are going to be using it, really. Um, and if we do, then it doesn't really, I mean, affect much. So you're going to get to see kind of what it looks like whenever two fins are playing against each other. Me being, you know... I consider myself a top 10,000 Finn um, overall, and he's probably arguably like a top 10, top 20 Finn player. So be quite excited to see how this goes. Thank you guys so much for coming by for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. I I'd like to hear like, first of all, like what's uh, what's like your platform fighter like experience and like what kind of, um, like what, what kind of games did you play at least even semi-competitively before? I play oh, everything, nice. man. Like, uh, I've gone from, like, uh, I won, like, best in our state for when Dragon Ball Fighters came out. I've, I've played some Guilty Gear. I play, you know, any fighting game I've played. Right, okay. Uh, platformers, though, I come from Smash. But really, I'm just, I, I play everything. I, lo I love games, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Going off that, uh, why did you decide to pick Finn? Are you, like, an Adventure Time fan or something? I love Adventure Time. Like, Adventure Time is goaded. Okay. Uh, so, like, as soon as I saw Finn, it was like a no-brainer for me. But I I'm gonna be honest: if I saw Marceline, I'd be swapping real quick. <laughs> okay, that's valid. That's valid. Yeah. Or Ice King. Oh wait, why do you not run a uh, Tasmanian? Ah, uh, I just don't really have an issue with DI. Like, uh, I actually live pretty fairly long, so it hasn't really been an issue for me. Okay, interesting. That's what I hear a lot of people say. Like, what do you mean by issue? Because, like, is it like, uh, how do I describe I mean it? You just would die a little earlier if you don't have good a DI, so I think it just helps your DI a little bit out. But like my DI is usually pretty fine; I don't have to really worry about it. Okay, interesting. Oh, nice.
Ух. That's good. Thanks, man. That was that was that was such a cool game. It was just cool to play into. That's all. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting to see when you're playing the fins, like because some of them like aren't really heavy based on items. Like I, me personally, I love items. Like I try not to go into apples too much, but like I love the the item play with fins. So it's, I'm glad to see that you're also an item heavy uh, fin. I'm super item heavy. Before Make It Rain Dog got nerfed, I used to run that perk because um, it was like actually unreactable for the most part. I had to uh, start using the ice perk because I literally would forget to use my projectiles. Like when I first started playing Finn, it was like a thing where I would just not use my projectiles. So I just put on the perks for fire and ice and like I was like, well, I got two of my three perks dedicated to it, so I better start using it. Um, yeah. I use it for both, I guess, because I mean, it could mean either way. But whenever I'm like in huge disadvantage and i have not connected a hit in like 30 percent or more um i'll just literally start spamming apple and it like throws off people's rhythm so hard it's crazy you gotta mess up their tempo and then you get in exactly and if you run collateral damage it does an extra one damage because it double bounces so yeah. you get like an extra four percent damage out of just like four gems of stock that's kind of crazy yeah, gems are great i love them like yeah. it's literally his best move. Yeah, hundred percent. I was shocked they made it even better with the, like the teleport instead of the dash into the coin, because mm. like you used to be like if you were unsafe with that, you know they would just punish you on the the dash. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like you got to hold it. Right. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do with uh, Finn is whenever people spawn, you can throw the gem upwards, um, and then it'll cover like the neutral, like the middle of the stage. True. So, you <laughs> can also do it while edge guarding. Um, but you did that last game, but very good. FD, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> ah, try to dash off. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it happens, it does. I love bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Totally unintentional. <laughs> Unfortunate.
Wow. Say goodbye to that tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say that, yeah. I mean... Yeah, it is what it is. It is what like, it is. I, I know a lot of the Finns kind of like, don't like it and they kind of stick their nose out at me for doing it, but uh... I mean, it's one of our tools, I'm gonna use it. We don't got loops. Well, we, we do, but they're gone too. <laughs> yeah. I mean... What, um, I play in about, like, as much as online MMR doesn't really matter that much, I played about, like, 1650 to 1700. Um, I remember my first game was against, like, my first game against a really high MMR fin was, um, this guy named Scar200, and he literally, I, I think he probably downered me 10 times per stock, if not more. It was, it was crazy. So just straight up just abused it? <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was his whole playstyle, and I mean, I respect it as much as the other guy, I mean... Just Everyone like, has their own things. Like, to not use our tools in a, a competitive fighting game, you know? I'm just surprised I don't see you, uh, from the games I've seen you play, I don't really see you use it in land that often. Is there a reason why, or am I just not... Oh, wow, that was... I, I had nothing. A good amount, I just don't... I don't over-abuse it, because, you know... First off, it, like, eliminates our ability to spike. So you know, right, yeah, that's true. Out and then you can't get any spikes off of it, but, uh, I use it. Oh, I should have double fair and I threw it. It's funny you brought up that scar, dude. He just uh, beat my boy the other day in a tournament. Uh, my buddy uh, Retro. Mm, he ended up getting third. He's, he's been up and rising, Rain Dog. Oh, yeah, no, Retro, retro Wolf? Yeah, that guy yeah. That guy seems so chill. Rain oh, yeah, he's great. He's guy. actually in the room with me right now. He's uh, we, uh, I own a game uh, store. That's dope, dude. Are you kidding? We own a game store, yes. Dude, that is so cool. I had no clue y'all had like a whole. So like on our God weeklies, not. that's my games or our game store that yeah uh, we do our weeklies at. That's uh, that is yeah, so yeah. dope. The commentator Ajax, he's my roommate. Hmm. That's the that's the Batman player, right? The commentator. Yep. Yeah. That's dude. I I I was actually gonna ask about that too because um, I I do watch most of the multiverse versus mayhem uh stuff and it's been it's been succeeding a lot recently. I see like the how many people yeah, it have just been watching pops it. Off. Like, I think it's going to do good on Wednesday as well, because, like, whenever there's a new character, we're going to see a surge. And mm. with people, like, me and Zoo, we, we don't take things super serious. Like, we have a good time, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, it, it it will probably be inevitable that we will both pick Rick at some point in that tournament. <laughs> the Rick mirror <laughs> the day after and, he's released? I mean, we, we did the Morty mirror on the, the Morty week as well. You know, we just have fun. Yeah, yeah, it's a perfect yeah, mix Retro's between. Good, dude. He's 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 real chill. He's up and coming. Uh, Rain dog. He's always around. You know, we got Zoo. We got me. We got Pin's been coming. Pin is sick. That guy is crazy, dude. Jake yeah. is so good. It's so hard to play his Jake because he's just he's so good at what he does. And Finn, I I feel like Finn struggles a little bit with Jake, um, because like a lot of our like confirms aren't really confirms against him. Uh, and we could die for trying to do a lot of the things that we would normally do against the other character. Yeah, 100%. Because, like, a whole setup and everything, and I was like, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> like, Yeah, no, so we, we were in the, the multiverse technicals, and we were like, we love this game. Like, we're going to we're gonna push this game. Mm -hmm. So as soon as it came out, we were like, you know, we got to get set up, so we got to get the tournament started, we got to go, go, go. <laughs> right, okay. So did you have did you have a favorite state of the game? Did you play both technical tests? Because I think there was two, right? I did. I did. Um, in both technicals, Finn was absolutely disgusting. Like, Finn was so good. Uh, and you know he was really good at the the first uh, open beta, like. But, uh, especially once he became free character on the rotation, I knew he was done for. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I knew like there was no shot that he was going to survive because like you know, PFG you got they got to look out from the perspective of casuals and competitive. And if it absolutely ruins the game for casuals, it doesn't make monetary sense for them to keep it that way. That's very true. So, like, I knew it was going to happen. Did it make me sad? Yeah, because I knew he's not as busted as people, like, you know, would like you to believe he is. He's great, don't get me wrong, but he's not, like, game-breakingly busted. Right. And once you get to the high level and people know how to play against Finn, you can't get away with 90% of the things you used to be able to get away with. Yeah. I think it all came from a place of people just thinking that, like, like I think a lot of people who came into multiverses are completely brand new to the yeah. platform fighter genre and think that anything that hits multiple times is, like, OP. Great, because they complained so much about the upbeat, which isn't even that good. 
Yeah, like, it wasn't it's even consistent. It's based on how much gold we have, which is our like primary like you know moves that cause gold. <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah, like I'm not mad at him. Like uh, even with the latest patch, you know, it, it's like sucks because it's like we're still getting nerfed without like like if you look at the statistics, like Finn has really low win rates, like across the board. And yeah. He obviously doesn't need more nerfs. If anything, if you like, he, you you could rework him a little bit, but they just keep taking away. Mm hmm. It's just a little annoying, but it's whatever. We'll get past it. We'll learn. We'll evolve. People at the top level um, think that Finn is like absolutely busted. Really? Yeah. I hear the opposite. Like, I, I mean, I hear some people like just make snarky comments occasionally, but mostly people don't even put him on like tier lists or anything because he's just not relevant. He's not. No, no. I was like, like, in memes and says things like tier Finn's busted, and then he shows clips against an Iron Giant, and it's like, yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can all combo an Iron Giant. <laughs> um, yeah, that's definitely what I do the least out of. Like, all, all of his strengths, like, if I had to, like, add them all up, definitely his, like, uh, overall ability to just kill off stage with, like, uh, spikes are probably some of the best in the game. It's just, like, Absolutely. I just don't go for it enough. It's kind of like how you how you said you kind of had to force yourself to use, like, the item. Uh, what's yeah. it called? Yeah, I'm the same way with his, like, down, his, like, uh, downstrung and stuff. I just, as good as I know it is, I just don't use it. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't, like, any, any platformer game, I just love spikes. I literally put Nickelodeon All-Stars just for, like, you know, a little while just to get triple spikes on people. Like, oh, my God, yeah. It was good times. No, yeah, that game, I had, like, 30 hours in that game. I was like, dude, this game would be so good if it was actually marketed well. Yeah, like, if they actually, like, released it like a proper game. Yeah, like, and like beta test. If, if if release was beta and then they when got voices released, that game would have probably been a hit. I mean, the game market is like the most tough it's ever been. Though that's what sucks is um, yeah. it's extremely hard to make a game and have it like succeed nowadays. When you got a game like this that's free mm -hmm. to play, that's definitely gonna make things harder. Yeah, like how can you market a game like uh that's 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 paid, um, whenever like there's so many games out there that are free to play that have infinite multi or multi player like compatibility and what the heck just happened there <laughs> no way oh, no. <laughs> no way i just did you like that uh, man <laughs> that's why i love that man. it's just a circle man huh it's just see it no good at it <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy how dare hits like right above right oh, wow that's good read um, it's crazy how Dare hits like right above you, but it doesn't hit like at the bottom of the hitbox. It's so weird. Yeah. Even right. with the, the hitbox and her box reworks, there's a lot of weird things. There's a lot of weird anomalies with it, 100%. Alright, you know the what thing. that means. Alright, I trust you on this one. Oh man. Oh. I gotta get a- oh no, come on! I gotta get a high five on you or else, you know, after you just spike me like that. Yeah, gotta do it back in my face. No. Not like this. No, I forgot all that money! God damn it! That would've been so winnable if I, did, if I had some money there, bro. Dang, I'm so close every time, but you always get them stocks on me, bro. That one was definitely close, like... <laughs> Um, have you, uh, like, I've seen very few people run going out of business. Like, is have you experimented with it at all, and what do you think about it? I just don't feel like it does enough, to be honest. Like, 100 gold off, it's just not a big enough deal to me. And, like, they nerfed our, our boots, so really getting past level 1 boots isn't even really optimal. Yep. So it's like, I'd rather just have the gold for, like, uppies and, you know, gems than... So I'm not going to level up past boots one, so at most I'll save 100 gold per stock, which just isn't worth it. I'm trying to see maybe what I can pick up from your gameplay. The biggest thing I need to pick up is definitely the whole border lunch, border lunch thing. <laughs> that thing, that that looks crazy. I, I love that, the border lunges. Like, it's even better offline. They, they, they're so much more true on, offline. It's definitely one of my favorite things but like I, I told tony originally back when i found out the, the fact that i could get away with doing like four b's if i do that properly if i do like slash side b slash side b like it would literally let me continue so i could get another up b i could get another side b so it was obviously broken so i had a self-report 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that why, is that why you can do like three lunch? Wait, I just realized that. Yeah. I just realized that. that that's what they were changing. That's the bug fix. I yeah. Wow, that completely just completely slipped my mind. I didn't even think about that. Go ahead. that that's, that's definitely something they're fixing in the next patch. But I, I had like kept trying to keep it on the down low because I didn't want to like... If people like were like starting to see it and use it a lot, then it's definitely going to create a lot more hate, hate for Finn. Mm, true, true. We got enough of that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I was so confused that I recently can no longer ignore air special limits when branching into the attack on Sarah. I was like, what does that mean? Yeah, I was like, what does that mean? And I was like, okay, whatever. Um, But now I know, so. Right, well, here's the thing, like, you know, I still have my store that I do, you know, I'm always at my store, so, like, that's a lot of my time as is. And, like, I have no problem playing games with people. If people want to be like, yo, can you get a game? Can you give me some tips or, like, pointers or whatever? Yeah, absolutely. But I don't, I don't need to charge people for it, like, and I don't need to, like, sell myself as that. And, like, the, the, there's a lot of weird things, and, the, like, the community is great, but there's a lot of weird things of, like, who's the best, or who's the, like, blah, blah, blah. And, like, I've never been part of, like, I don't, I don't really participate in those conversations. Like, I just want to play the game, have a good time, and, like, you know. Doing well is great, but it's not, it doesn't make me, you know. Yeah, no, I don't blame people for being like, I played the best whatever, and, you know, blah, 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 this is what happened. I don't blame people for doing that. Like, get your money, get your bag, that's fine. Like, if I were, like, you know, relying on, like, streaming and stuff like that, I would probably do something similar. But I'm not, so I don't play, I don't have to play the game. I don't have to play the politics, I don't have to do anything. I just play a game and have fun. What was that? <laughs> that was the weirdest hit. Well, you, if you play retro, you'll definitely have a, a tough time because, like, you know, we joke around that retro is, like, my first metaphile student because, like, when we started playing, like, I was, like, you know, we played a lot. So, generally speaking, he doesn't lose to other fins. Oh, hell yeah. I play a lot of shaggies at the store, too. Like, it's pretty popular. Oh, that was through you. It's so good. <laughs> Worst matchups. Uh, I absolutely, and it's probably because of inexperience against it, but lately I've absolutely been hating good LeBrons. Like, good LeBron just, like, melts my brain. And the fact that our shoulder charge doesn't work right against their ball even just makes it even worse. Because I'm always trying to shoulder charge it. I'm like, okay, this is, you know, at the very least a deflect. And it's like, nah, you're getting hit. Like, I could deflect Bugs' rocket, but LeBron's basketball is too much for my shoulder. Well, deflect, not reflect, but yeah. Uh, like, if you do it, like, if his rocket is, like, it has to be in the right position, but if as long as it's not going to hit the ground and you're not going to get hit by the, t like, in your head, you can shoulder blast into the rocket and just detonate it. Yeah, good times. So you, you can do that, but, like, against LeBron, you can't, you can't do it to his basketball. Oh yeah, I love doing that. You can do it to the bomb too, like the. So it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, despite him being one of my training partners, uh, Zeus, like Batman, I, I've heard both sides. I've heard Batman be like, it's unwinnable, which I'm like, ha. And I've heard Finn say it's hard, but for me, like. The only real experience I have against it is Zeus Batman, and to me, that is nearly unwinnable. But Zeus also a monster, so let me think about that one. Like, I like a lot of the cast. Like, I like playing against most of the characters. I don't even mind really Superman or anything like that. Like, sure, he gets janked, but it's like, I think in a in a non, like, in a careful match, Finn wins it. Uh, it's just Superman has his, you know, little jank where if you're just not if you're too aggressive you're gonna get you know thrown into the the abyss iron giant i obviously think then wins uh wow i can't really think of a third one where i'm just like oh jake what am i thinking jake uh but i don't really know who i don't know who jake struggles against to be honest like, Jake just seems all around, like, a strong character. Um, 
So we're gonna change it to Steven Jake Batman. Final answer. True. Here's the real thing is when I play you again in a, like a week from now after you watch the VODs and see the uh, what you're doing and improve on that, that that's the real test. You know, Finn doesn't really fit the pattern. Like, I mean, I, I did play Bayo in Smash 4, but like generally in traditional fighter games, I'm playing grapplers. So like in Guilty Gear, I'm playing Potemkin and Street Fighter, I'm playing Zangief. Like I'm playing big, beefy characters. Yeah, so Finn kind of just breaks that mold a little bit. You would think, I, and like I did start this game as Superman. Uh, but in the technical, Superman was not good. Like, he was not good at all. And uh, he got buffed and buffed, and eventually now he's the monster he is. And at times I'm like, damn, I kind of should have stuck with Superman. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't, I, I touched Finn. I always loved Adventure Time, and I played him, and I'm just like Bayonetta. Yeah. See, to me, like I said, to me, it, it none of that really matters much to me. Like, there are people, like, especially early on when I played Finn, there were a lot of comments on YouTube, like, you know, talking a lot of shit. Like, even things like, kill yourself. And I'm like, yeah, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> so, like, and, you know, maybe it's because I'm old school, you know, I come from the arcades and I come from the Bayonetta, so I'm used to the hate. I'm not, I don't get bothered by the hate. Uh, if anything, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm like, bro, why is this guy so mad? <laughs> but, uh, so, like, I don't mind the hate. I don't mind, the, like, if people like what I do, like, that's cool, too. Like, I don't mind helping out. I don't mind doing whatever. I'm all about, like, just good vibes. I don't I don't hear Finn saying really anything anymore. Like, we're pretty content. Like, we don't need to be busted. We don't need to be, like, you know, absolutely nerfed to the ground. We're in a pretty good spot overall. I wish loops in general were kind of not a thing. Uh, like, I don't, not just Finn, but like just loops in general for everybody. I kind of wish it was a little less. But that's a, the state of the game kind of thing, not that's not the Finn thing. Uh, so like right now, the system is just meant to be an anti-infinite system. So it doesn't actually really stop loops. Cause I don't, I can't think of a single loop that has four down airs in it, you know, or like four of the same moves. Uh, the only thing that's really gonna stop is like the Harleys from doing their infinites. Uh, if they make it down to three times, like, that might have an actual impact. And that's fine. Like, I'd rather them take small steps in the right direction than, like, take a massive step and ruin their game. So. Oh, tragic defeat. <laughs> it was. Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was, like, chill for you guys to watch. I am extremely sorry that my mic wasn't working near the end. I have no idea why. I'm pretty sure I might have hit my mute mic keybind on accident. You guys kind of got to understand what kind of chill guy uh, they are. Super chill, dude. Um, and, and I was, like, pleasantly surprised, like, meet him and stuff. It was pretty cool. Very cool experience. And, uh, yeah, so hope you guys learned something from this video. Maybe you learned some combos he was doing, or maybe you learned from what he was doing in neutral. But it definitely helped my Finn Mirror Match gameplay. But overall, it was really cool to get to talk to Chavo, understand what's going on in his life and, and stuff like that. And also just experience the match. It was really fun. So thank you, Chavo, for the opportunity. And uh, everybody go check out Multiverse Mayhem and go support all the creators that work on that amazing tournament. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.